Kayanos, Kayanos, fresh tongues, Kayanos, fresh tongues. Rivers. Many of you have drunk only one river. Meanwhile, the scripture said, Rivers. You will drink another river. Kayanos from your belly. Kayanos from your belly. Kayanos. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos! Show me next verse. Therefore, somebody said, therefore, because they are not grieved, therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. Next verse. The Lord has sworn by himself, said the Lord, said the Lord, the God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob and hate his palaces. Imagine. <laughs> I mean, the things that we honor. The things we say is big. The things we aspire to have. God say, I abhor it. I hate the palaces. God said he hates the palaces. If God hates the palaces, ah, that is the meaning of that scripture that Jesus was, was speaking to his disciples in the book of Mark where we read. When he told them that scarcely will any rich man enter him because in their opinion, the heaven will be filled with rich people first. Then they poor, if they made it or not. Jesus said it will be hard. They were shocked. They thought making it in life qualifies you for the higher things of the spirit. He says, scarcely, scarcely. I hate the palaces. I hate it. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is what? Daring. And it shall come to pass if there remain ten men in one house that they shall what? <laughs> Verse 10. And a man's uncle shall take him up and he that bonnet him to bring to bring out the bones out of the house and shall say unto him that is by the size of the house is there yet any with thee? And he shall say no. Then shall he say hold thy tongue for we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. Verse 11. For behold, the Lord commanded, and he will smite the great house with breaches, and the little house with clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock? Will one plow there with oxen on the rock? Can you plow on? You see, um, There is another translation that captured it uh, better. Get back to KJV so that you will see. Get back to KJV. Ye which rejoice in a tin of what? Not. That means that Lodiba means what? That Lodiba means what? Hmm. So the judgment that is being listed from that place we are reading till now is the judgment of that is on people that is rejoicing on nothing i don't understand but we have the palaces but you have the ivory bed are you following me why is the lord now bringing judgment he said yea which rejoice in a thing that is nothing by what means did you rate yourself rate the things that you achieved it got worse he's trying to catch our attention but since those things is not catching our attention he will allow captivity but you are here and listen brother we are going to labor if by any means god will affect a hundred thousand by our labors if by any means 1 million we rise but if by any means 10 million we arise and catch the burden of the affliction of Joseph and rise by it if not you see look at what this verse is saying 
He said, you achieved nothing and on the basis of nothing, you said you can defeat Kanaim. Kanaim is, means the horn of strength. Listen to me. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? When you labored, you achieved nothing. In God's rating, God's metric system, what you have achieved is called nothing. Now, based on your achievement, you are now saying, I'm going to contend with Kanaim, which is the horn of strength. It's total disgrace. The way Kanaim will deal with you, you will wonder whether you know Jesus or not. Are you seeing it? When the body of Christ appears at Lodiba, they will think that Lodiba qualifies them to take Kanaim. Not knowing that Lodiba is what? Nothing. In the rating of what it means for a man to gather strength in the spirit to deliver God's agenda and judgment. Huh? Lodiba means nothing. We have achieved it, but it is that's not God's emphasis. If God raised it, it is something only within our context. When the day of strength is measured, it will seem as if we are always coming short. Coming short. Coming short. It is not God's ordination for that to happen. It is simply that we made a mistake in our rating. I will say it that way. An improper rating made us to think that what is nothing in God's context is actually big. And on the basis of that, we now thought, we made the mistake of thinking we can now take the horn of strength. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let me put it the way you will understand. Imagine how many of you used to do 100 meter race while you were in secondary school? Raise your hand. You used to do 100 meter race. Huh? Imagine what's the name of your secondary school? Great Scholars. So, watch. He, he normally, do you win? Uh -huh. So, watch. So, when he won in his school, he now woke up one day and said, Hi, I won in my school, Grace Scholars. Let me compete with Uzembolt. I, I, I've, I've won in my school. I'm ready for Uzembolt. I'm ready. That's what these guys are saying. Are you seeing it? In comparison with Uzembolt, what you did is what? That's what we are trying to say. It's nothing. You won, no, but it's nothing. In comparison with the horn of strength, it's nothing. You did something. But in comparison with the demand of the hour, it is nothing. It's not, we are not, it's not as if, it's not as if we are trying to say what you did. It's, no, it's nothing. And the challenge with coming against something that high, with what is rated as nothing in the spirit, is that you will keep being disappointed with your efforts in the spirit. Because you are thinking that what you did or what you are doing should produce a kind of impact. We are thinking it should produce a kind of impact, but by by spiritual rating, it is what I didn't hear you. It is what it is Lodiba. The judgments of Lodiba are here. But I know that the reason why God is raising an alarm is because He wants you to awaken to His labors. Hmm? If I ask you now, you say you are a woman or and all that. Maybe somebody will come and ask me and, and say, Hey, Apostle Kai, Apostle, you are doing well this one. Lodiba. It's nothing. Hmm? I don't feel as if I have started my calling and I don't feel like it. Except you are not looking at Nigeria. Except, except you have not traveled one or two places in the world or Africa. You, it's nothing. When I see some things, I am pained. If they ask you, you say you are doing something. They are telling you the weight of your labors. You are thinking it has. You see, that's the problem. You just, this small fasting and prayer, maybe seven days or whatever you are doing. And then you rate it very high. Or we have results. People feel the auditorium and all that. And you have money. Lodi bar. It is not nothing because it's nothing in your context. It is nothing based on comparison. It is compared with the horn of strength and we found out that it's nothing. Now, the man is actually telling you this thing by advice. He is telling you, bro, don't go and contend with the horn of strength. You will be disgraced. 
you'll be so messed up that the coming generation will not believe that this thing is any, any possible anymore. I hope you know that there is a way Satan can deal with your auntie. If you want to serve God, they'll be using that your auntie to give you exam. How many of you, you are like that? They, they will tell you, remember Auntie Agnes. How hmm. to of you they have told you something like that yes you have to rise stronger part of the reason those things happen is that they are tempted but they didn't measure well the strength it takes to take the gate are you getting it you are going to pray oh god remove my eyes from the things that i think i have achieved or have become put my eyes on the things that we make for my strengthening we need to take the gate transit from Lodiba to Kanai, the gate of strength. We will not fall where our fathers fell. The mercy of God is upon us. God has stretched his hands by his favor and put it on us. We have seen where we need to strengthen. fasting and prayer that you are ready is actually nothing. May it not be that the things you are counting upon that it has not mattered for much in the spirit. There are much more levels. There are much more levels to take your family. There are much more levels to take your mind the market. There are much more levels.
Why is the gate of your family has not been taken? Why is the gate of nations have not been taken? 